Okay, Todd and Tanner coming back to you here. We've had a couple matches that are in the bank now. Uh, WrestleMania 32, we're going to start off with the AJ Styles-Chris Jericho match. And uh, as predicted, or as, as hoped, Chris Jericho won the match. I know, Tanner, you seem to be a little upset with that. Well, I don't know. I was kind of like in between the guys. I'm not sure, really, to be honest. Well, what went wrong for AJ Styles in this match? Well, he was... Well, I'm not sure. I can't remember. But all I know is that he got uh, code breaked by Chris Jericho and he lost. It was it was a very exciting match. A lot of back and forth. I'd say the beginning, the, the first third of the match was dominated by Chris Jericho. Styles came back. There was a lot of grappling and uh, and whatnot. In the end, Jericho was, was uh, the victor. So I was pretty pleased with that. Then let's go to the, the New Day match. New Day against... The League of Nations. And, 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 who's the, uh, the winner of that match? Uh, League of Nations, sadly, I guess. I, I was rooting for the New Day, to be honest. But didn't something happen at the end of that match? Yes, it did. You want to tell the, tell the viewers at home exactly what happened? Yes. So, Bad News Barrett started talking for the League of Nations, and then all of a sudden you hear Shawn Michaels' music come out. I mean, Shawn Michaels' music, and he comes running out, and he has his, HBK. Full, he has his full attire on. So surprising. Then you know that he's going to start fighting the League of Nations when he has his wrestling ring attire. Then Mick Foley comes out. Super excited for that. And then most of all, what I was excited for... Was the glass breaking? Stone Cold Steve Austin. It was awesome. And tell, uh, tell everybody what Stone Cold wound up doing. He flipped off the audience. He came down to the ring and stunned most of the League of Nations. And then the, uh, the New Day came in and started celebrating with all the guys. And he stunned uh, all of the, well, he studied Xavier Woods. Stunned Xavier Woods, how about that? And then at the end, in classic Stone Cold Steve Austin fashion, he climbs up on the corner ropes and then starts catching beers <laughs> and popping them and drinking them, right? He passed it around to all, all of his buddies, Shawn Michaels and uh, McFoley. God, I love Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold Steve Austin is the main reason why I really, really got into WWE. I have to say that. Yep. So, then we just got done watching the Brock Lesnar-Dean Ambrose match. How did that go? Well, uh, I don't know. I was... I didn't know who I wanted to win. Like, I said Dean Ambrose, but then I thought Brock Lesnar. I mean, you don't, you don't have to be right. Let's get that straight. I mean, you're, I know you're fans of both. You don't have to be right, but what was your impression of the match overall? I mean, rate that on a scale of 1 to 5. How good was this? It went 15 minutes exactly, by the way. I put it as a 9.5. It was pretty entertaining there. Yeah, it was, it was really good. Probably one of the best matches of the night. Yeah, without a doubt. Uh, it's right up there with a Chris Jericho, AJ Styles match. But here's what I liked about this match, because leading up in the, in the weeks and, and the months leading up to this match, you're looking at it, or I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking, how on earth can anyone possibly defeat Brock Lesnar? I, I, Dean Ambrose is, is small. He doesn't, he's not muscle-bound. He's not incredibly strong. You know, they make him out to be the, uh, you know, a, a psychotic lunatic, right? And, uh, but... And, and that's why I think this match was fitting. This ma what was the, the rules of the match? It was a uh, no-holds-barred street fight. So, of course, uh, Dean used plenty of weapons. He tried to use the chainsaw. Didn't work. What else did he use? Uh, he tried using a bat with barbed wire. He didn't, that didn't work. Uh, he used what, what, chairs. What he were used those, what were those sticks? Kendo sticks. Kendo sticks. So he, uh, he hit Brock quite a few times with those kendo sticks, and then uh, they had chairs and... And whatnot, but Brock, of course, is Brock, and I mean, it's going to take an army to beat him. And yeah. and I'm sorry, Dean Ambrose, and your little toys and gadgets just wasn't enough. So right now, it looks as if though we're uh, we're going into the the Divas Championship. So that's next, and we'll be coming back with one final wrap up after the Divas, and then after the. Uh, Do you want to give predictions? Let's give predictions. Tanner's right. Let's go. Uh, so the winner of this match, uh, we thought it was going to be the winner of the Divas title, but it turns out they will be crowned with the Women's Championship. Women's Championship. I'm going with Sasha Banks. I mean, she deserves it. As am I, because she's just much better looking. And she's going to bring back the women's wrestling, the true women's wrestling, not the Divas, like all pretty and stuff that can't wrestle. She's going to bring back women that can wrestle.
after this, we have the Andre the Giant Battle Royal, I believe. Ah, uh, where where Big Show will repeat and get his second in a row. I think I think that either Cesaro is going to make his big comeback because he's been out for a long time and win the Andre the Giant once again, just like he was the first ever man to win that gold. So. Well, we'll see, but uh, I really believe that it's Big Show's to lose, and Big Show will not lose. Triple H is going to win. He's going to win. That's We've got to set up uh, Monday Night Raw uh, in the wake of the, the outcome of the uh, Shane McMahon wrestling match with Undertaker. And if Triple H, being the COO of the company, is also the reigning WWE World Heavyweight Champion, there's going to there's gonna be a lot of conflict here when Shane takes over the company. I have the greatest prediction right now. You- I'd, I'd love to hear it, and I'm sure the people at home want to hear it too. Okay, Triple H, it's a fact. He's going to win tonight, okay? He's going to retain the title. Something's going to happen in the Undertaker and Shane match to where Shane's going to have control over Raw. Tomorrow night, Triple H versus Roman uh, rematch. Roman wins. Wow. And you know why that's that's a, that's a possibility. And if in fact that happens, we're going to do a wrap up of a wrap up of Monday Night Raw. But until then, we've got a Divas match starting right now. We're going to sign off, and we'll be back.